Join us on a magical journey down a river that flows like a healing balm through a land torn by wars. Deep in the heart of the Balkans, that part of Eastern Europe where East meets West, the Neretva River springs from the high mountains of Bosnia-Herzegovina. The river brings joy and happiness to all peoples on the both sides of the river. Flowing almost 150 miles, this greenest of rivers cuts through ancient cities and even older cultures that over millennia have shaped the destiny of Europe. Thanks to the Ottomans, Mostar became a multicultural and multi-religious place. Floating through these troubled lands, we'll be guided by those who love its white waters. Those who explore its unknown depths. Short, but good. Those who love the life that it brings, and those who prove their bravery <laughs> in its waters. Awesome. We'll meet the people who live, work, and play on the river that gives them hope of peace. We, we can make it. We can make it uh, all together. As we follow it through rich farmlands, it's the best place on earth to live. <laughs> before finally emerging into the calm blue of the Adriatic Sea. On this, one of the most scenic river journeys in the world. We begin our journey driving to the source of the Noretva, high in the Dinaric Alps. Some two hours from the nearest village, a place where wolves and bears outnumber humans. And I'm enjoying in the scenery to see the mountains, to see the wild nature. We are with veteran war photographer Armel Emrich, whose lens has borne witness to many of the atrocities of the Bosnian War that ripped these lands apart some 30 years ago. This was a killing time when the old Yugoslav Federation disintegrated into rival states like Serbia, Croatia, and Bosnia-Herzegovina, split along ethnic lines. As a young man, Armel witnessed his country being torn apart. His images still haunting him today. And it is to the Noretva, high in the mountains, that he turns for solace. I, I traveled all over the, the, the river. I'm in love in this river. Far from any habitation, the waters of the Noretva are crystal clear and icy cold. It's a place where, for Armel, the pain of the past gives way to hope for the future. The story of River Noretva starts here. This is a small creek. It has pristine, clear water. It grows and grows and brings all joy and happiness to all peoples on the both sides of the river. Here, instead of pain, his lens is filled with beauty. My obsession with the Nertva River is 10 years. It's always inspiration for photography and for me. It's a magical light. There's always, you know, sparkles in the river, nice reflection. Trees, smells, mountains, wild animals bring spirit to the river. And the river gives the spirit to the people who live. From these beautiful mountains, we'll head through a land that dreams of peace.
will crash downstream in white water rafts, flow into the artificial lake of Salakovaks, where we'll dive deep into flooded caves. Boating on into Mostar, we'll hold our breath as we jump 80 foot from the town's historic bridge, before joining the Whitewater Rescue Service on the wild rapids just south of the town. From here, our pace will slow as we fish for soft-mouthed trout and witness a dervish chant at the ancient Blagai Takia Monastery before cruising through the incredible Hutava Blateau Nature Reserve. Picking up the pace, we'll cross the border into Croatia, where we'll join a champion race team in their traditional larger boat, before finishing our journey with a sunset speedboat ride into the Adriatic Sea. Growing in volume dramatically from its sources around 4,000 feet above sea level, the Noretva is fed by countless tributaries as it cascades out of the mountains. The first signs of human habitation comes at the town of Kwanitz, with its 17th century Ottoman bridge and high minarets. It's a reminder that this river snakes through a land rich with history, but fraught with ethnic tensions. But it's also a land where people can have fun. And a little downstream, we meet with Denis Sarkic, who's been taking adventurous white water rafting on the Noretva for the last 10 years. I'm very proud to born here to Konitz and born here in the river, river Neretva. This is my life, this is my river. It's very natural place and very good place. Hi there. Today, Dennis is joined by the intrepid Nyla and her mother, Zahida, as well as their friend, Amina. My grandmother, grandfather, they put water from the Nereetwa going to house to drink in. You can see we have so much spring around, so much clean water. This river is drinkable, you trust me. And we must protect her. I did I guess. Yeah. 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 We have five or six rapids, smaller, bigger, bigger. Come on, Sabuya. This one is so good. You can see this. All together, we are going that side. Yeah! <laughs> Yeah, this is so much good life. As we leave the good life behind, great limestone cliffs rise hundreds of feet above us, formed around 100 million years ago as the tectonic plates of Africa and Europe collided. Here, the river slows and we enter Lake Salakovaks, This is a vast artificial lake which was formed when a dam was built in the 1970s, creating the Salakovics Power Plant, one of the largest in the country. On the surface, it's a beauty spot, but below, it's a haven for one of the most dangerous sports in the world, cave diving. He's checking, are the, all the computers working properly? 
Zoran Blato has explored these underwater labyrinths for 20 years. Today, he's doing his last dive of the year, accompanied by his dive partner, Nemin. Neretva is a river that I grew up on. It's close to me. I spent my whole life on it, so it's very dear to me. With water temperatures of just eight centigrade all year round, Zoran's dry suit is an essential piece of kit. Anyone entering the water like this without one would be expected to last just 30 minutes before being rendered unconscious by hypothermia. Ninety feet down, and the cave is a maze where a diver could easily become disorientated. Zoran and his team place guidelines and markers to ensure any stricken diver makes it back to the surface. Even then, all it takes is a diver to kick up some silt, and all visibility is gone. Worldwide, on average, ten cave divers die each year making it one of the world's most deadly sports. Cave diving is the most dangerous level of, of diving, so we do a lot of training, so we can say that we reduce that danger to minimum. I was drawn to diving because of the weightless underwater almost like in space, it's like zero G. Go further, go deeper. And now I'm enjoying exploration because we have a lot of springs that are still unexplored. So we have a chance to go to some new spring that nobody was before. Short, but good. Leaving the hidden depths of the Naretva behind, we're bound for a historic city where once upon a time, East met West. Mostar became a multicultural and multi-religious place. A city looking to heal the wounds of the past, where the brave will risk everything to be immersed in the glory of the river. Seventy miles from the source of the Naretva, high in the Dinaric Alps of Bosnia and Herzegovina, we venture through the very heartland of the Balkan Divide, the heartbreakingly beautiful city of Mostar. It first came to prominence in the 15th century when the area fell under Ottoman rule. Thanks to the Ottomans, uh, Mostar became a multicultural and multi-religious place. It's not just Islam religion that came and they arrived with the Ottoman serum, also Jewish religion. But in the 1990s, as the former Yugoslavia disappeared, Mostar became a front line in the ethnic wars that tore the Balkans apart. For four years in the 1990s, the communities that had built this Bosnian jewel fought bitterly to destroy it and each other. Dozens of mosques and churches were targeted, 2,000 people were killed, and 90,000 fled the city. The ancient bridge that had united the peoples of Mostar was destroyed in what is perhaps one of the most symbolic acts of the war. Unfortunately, and these things that happened in the past, in the 90s here, 
uh, they brought a lot of bad things to this country. Born in 1990, Janan Darakovic is a child of the Bosnian Wars and has turned to the river for hope. Mostar would not be Mostar without Neretva River. River is life, water is life, and without water, there's no life. It's claimed that the very name Mostar is derived from the word bridge keepers. So with no bridge, there was no Mostar. But 10 years after the war, Mostar rose again, and the bridge was rebuilt just as it had been. Symbol of Mostar, soul of Mostar. Bridge means connection. In my opinion, the reconstruction of the old bridge can just reunite uh, all the people from this area and to, to be a real symbol of peace. And with peace and the restoration of the bridge came the restoration of one of Mostar's oldest traditions. Bridge diving. For at least 400 years, any man who wanted to call themselves a real man in Mostar had to jump over 80 foot from the top of the bridge, the equivalent of an eight-story building, down into the ice-cold waters of the Noretva below. And today, it's the turn of Haran Bygoric to flash his pecs and puff his chest. It's taken 12 years of training in the town's diving club for Haran to be considered experienced enough to jump. This is an activity for experts only. The shock of hitting near freezing water at around 60 miles an hour could be deadly. The idea of pouring cold water over the head is to reduce the risk a bit. Accelerating faster than a Ferrari, Haran will hit the water at around 60 miles an hour. It's a speed that has killed many before him. And needless to say, it's highly dangerous and not something you should try at home. With the adrenaline still rushing, there is really only one place for a young buck to be. On the edge again. Another big shot who has been moved by the bridge is Sasha Jamanovic, a proud Mosterian musician. He was inspired to write this song 
by the reconstruction of the bridge in 2004. Now, it has become something of a Mostar anthem. Zlatne godine, obrisi momački dana, na njima za uvijek ostali. Mostar moj, ti si meni sve, rodni grade moj, ja te volim. And like all Mostarians, the river is central to his life. Ostalom svi smo od mali nogu na neretvi i svi smo naučili plivati na neretvi. Naci a neretva kao inspiracija to je neobjašnjiva stvar koliko ta rijeka čovjeka tjera jednostavno iznutra otvara da bi mogao da napiše recimo neku pjesmu bez neretve se jednostavno ne može živjeti ja ne bi mogao živjeti Soon we'll be traveling down river from Mostar to meet a fishing club whose members reject the conflicts of the past and who stand united through their love of the river have a barbecue, have a drink. So person forget every problems when the fish in a, in a, on a hook. Five miles south of Mostar and the river changes character again, narrowing in to fast flowing rapids and narrow channels. This is the river at its most dangerous, its beautiful clear waters luring the unsuspecting into its freezing depths. My soup is yellow, I go to the pursuit, catching. A member of the Fast Water Emergency Rescue Service, Nevin Ribic and his teammates are called out about twice a month and have to tackle the river in all her moods. Dana za trening su nam uslovi malo avanturistički zato što je dosta veći vodostaj nerete već nego što je ljeti. In conditions like these, Nevin's view of the river is not always from above. But a quick roll is all part of growing up and being a white water hero. Ali u takvim uslovima moramo trenirati kako bi rješavali teške akcije pod ovakvim uvjetima. Just a few miles from those mighty rapids, a tributary, the river Buna, joins the Naretva, a place of peace and tranquility. Unless you are a soft-mouthed trout, in which case the whole of Club 1933 are out to get you and have been since childhood. <laughs> Most of us fishermen, we, we are racing on these rivers. We take a first uh, swimming on this river, and uh, that river is in our blood. 
For members like Gianni Denio, the river forms a bond stronger than those that force them apart. They're trying to tell us, you know, you are from this religion, you are this here. When you come to the river, you don't care who is with. We only come and fish and, and uh, have a friendship, you know, and uh, we are all the same. A person forget every problems when the fish on a hook. Bro. Bro. <laughs> and like everybody here, Johnny is after one thing, the trout with the biggest pout. The soft-mouthed trout, or Adriatic trout, is unique to the Balkans and is mainly found in the Noretva River. It is characterized by its distinctly fleshy mouth. That's the most beautiful fish you can catch. And it's very hard to catch and uh, is a good fighter. You know, they give you uh, adrenaline, you know, to catching and uh, that's a very, very good joy to catch that fish. Key to landing a fish is making it think that your hook is a fly. And the best impersonator in the club is Emir Delic. Dugo godina hvatam na neret. Znači moje iskustvo preko 30 godina na neret. Pametne su vrlo pametne i teško je uhvatiti. Plašljive, bježe i treba napraviti mušicu. People have been tying flies like this since at least the 17th century using tiny bits of feather and twine. Ovo sada pravimo krila, jer je ovo suha mušica koja pliva po vodi. A koristi se CDC pero jer ono ne upija vodu. Znači dugo vremena ostane suha na na vodi. But despite the deception, once caught, the trout are never killed, but released. So ensuring that the soft-mouthed trout will be here for their children and grandchildren to fish for. Which is why fish is never on the menu at the barbecue. <laughs> As the beers are passed around and our fishermen talk about the ones that got away, we head three miles upstream to an even more peaceful place. Here, deep inside a cavern beneath this majestic cliff, an underground river makes its way to the surface. Set into the cliff face as if to complement the natural grotto it overlooks, stands a wood and stone building. It bears the inscription, we made every living thing from water. It's a spiritual retreat, first built in the 15th century by the Sufi Islamic order known as the Dervishes. <laughs> Kenan of Chinna is an imam from Mostar. This beautiful building it was founded on this specific location because dervishes always looked for nice places full of nature. Uh, they are looking for a peace inside of them, so their surroundings is very important. For those who come to this holy place, the sound of the flowing water brings them closer to God. The river for people living here means the life. Uh, you can tell when you come near it that it's, it's mentioning the dear God with every, you see the, the, the sound it's make. An important part of dervish worship is the ritual of chanting the zikir prayer. During 
during the services, there are chantings for maybe one hour long. Very, very melodic with specific melody in specific time. Allah, 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 Some of the dervishes get inner states of, I wouldn't call it trance because trance is a state when you don't know for yourself. But this is more intimate and more specific, more mature look inside of one's soul. Leaving the beautiful Buna behind, we rejoin the river and journey 17 miles downstream and enter a totally different land. Here, the high limestone mountains formed as the African continent collided with Europe gives way to a flat alluvial plain. This is the site of the Hutovo Blato Nature Reserve, one of the last great Mediterranean wetlands and a major center for migrating birds. Taking us into this flooded wilderness is Dr. Irena Rosic from the Nature Protection Service. <laughs> okay, come on. Voyaging into a labyrinth of tiny rivers, we enter one of the most important wildlife areas in Europe. In Hutovo Blato, we have registered about 256 species of the birds. That's actually the huge number. In Bosnia and Herzegovina, you have uh, 3,000 of them. Some, like the common crane, are migratory birds, overwintering here before flying north. Others, like the eagle owl, are resident. In the springtime and the autumn time, you have a thousand of the bird species who are uh, going to their way uh, for, for the winter time or, or coming back. So Hutovo Blato, it's a very important point for birds to stop, take rest a little bit, and then go to the, to the Africa or, or where they're coming back. It's not only birds that migrate here. Fish species, like the European eel, make their way in from the sea, providing a rich food source. It's a very unique and uh, special place. We really need to, to protect that beauty that we have. Just south of this great wetland wilderness is the border with Croatia. Here, we'll race down the last few miles of the river on what was once a pirate ship. We've now crossed the border from Bosnia into Croatia, where the river has just 20 kilometers to flow to the sea. A thousand years ago, the local sport was piracy, with small boats called largers attacking Venetian merchant ships. Today, the river is still the stomping grounds of the larger, but instead of pillaging, those wide flat bottom craft powered by a crew of 10 just race each other for bragging rights. And it's not just a sport for the lads. This is the all-conquering Donyanke crew, who've won the women's annual larger race since they were founded two years ago. I'm very proud of my girls. First year we won and we make a new record. 
Last two years we were uh, champions. Along for an easy ride is their coach, Ivan Sershen. They need a good fitness. Uh, they need real to train uh, because it's a very, very hard sport. Speed, train, seven. As any pirate will tell you, speed is the difference between getting your hands on the bounty and seeing it sail away. And speed is all about technique. They all need to be together. When they are moving front, back, all bodies need to be connected, all paddles need to be connected. With the only gold on offer these days being a medal in next year's race, the real bounty is the team spirit this sweaty pastime generates. Good atmosphere and the friendship between them is very important because they, they're gonna fight for each other. And fight they will. In a few months' time, the team will be doing battle once more, tearing down six miles of river against dozens of other larges in what is one of Croatia's biggest sporting events. And each one of the other boats will be desperate to knock the Don Yanke crew off the podium. We, we can make it. We can make it uh, all together. <laughs> and uh, we hope that we are going to win. <laughs> we really know that. <laughs> As Ivan whips his crew back into a winning rhythm, we have one more stop before the Noretva empties out into the Adriatic Sea. The fertile Noretva Valley is an area often called the California of Croatia. And it's perfect for growing mandarins with over a million trees producing over 60,000 tons of the sweet, fragrant fruit each year. And today, we're meeting Branka and her husband, Zoran, just as some of the mandarins on their family farm have reached the perfect state of ripeness. From September to January, you got continuous harvest of mandarins. They're nice and juicy, they're sweet. Obviously, they're nicest uh, when you eat them off the tree. Branka and Zoran have 300 mandarin trees on the banks of the Noretva. We are together for 30 years and we love working together. When I'm by myself, I put my mobile on, put some music, but I like to do it with him. Then we talk. <laughs> and today, they're being helped by their friend's son, Franco, aged nine. Franco, you're a big fan of us today. He learns fast. Bravo, bravo. Branka's father-in-law first planted the trees here 40 years ago. This was like a swamp. In 1960s, I think they made the big canals and, and they make it like in a good land. Thanks to the long summers and mild winters, Noretva Valley mandarins are some of the sweetest in Europe, nourished by the waters of the river. Without Noretva River, this, none of this would be possible. It means a life to this valley. From this farm, we get about 10 tons a year. Now, they call it Noretva's gold because of the colour. Much of the harvest is sold at market and made into juice. But as a keen chef, Branka never lets anything go to waste. I made marinade to marinate meat instead of lemons. A jam, mandarin curd, it's beautiful. I even use the skin to make arancini. It's a candied mandarin skin. Life in Neretva Valley is, it's the best place on earth to live. <laughs> mm. 
Now we're on the final stretch of our journey with Stanko Musa, who when he's not teaching local kite surfers, loves nothing more than a blast down the Narepa on the club speedboat. We're gonna show you the mouth of the river, so Delta, where the Neretva River meets the Adriatic Sea. The cool waters of the Neretva pouring into the Adriatic Sea creates thermal air currents that make it a perfect spot for kite surfing. Everybody loves it. Everybody from 9 to 99. Have fun, enjoy in your life. When you're doing it, it's uh, looking like, wow. <laughs> Everybody go home with a happy face. As we enter the Adriatic, Stanko, for one, has a happy face. Yeah, I feel the change. If you see open space and near it, it's behind you. And she is also free now. Look at it. We've traveled 140 miles along the Naretva River and seen how it unites people in a troubled land. How it's a haven of peace, a refuge for wildlife, and a rite of passage for the brave. A river loved by all those who live, work, and play along this, one of the most scenic rivers in the world.